Hey everyone, Nitesh is side. Hope you are doing good. So let's start with the question. So the question is permutation two. Okay. So what you have given, you have given a collection of numbers. Uh, it's a num array that might contain duplicate. What you have to do, you have to return all possible unique permutation in any order. Okay. So this question is similar to permutation one, but the change in this question and the, uh, and the previous question is that in that in this array there is not duplicate in permutation one but in permutation two you have duplicate okay so we'll solve both so let's see how we will approach this question okay so first of all understand what is permutation okay so let's say we have given a string one uh, we have given an array one two three okay so if i can see i have three position okay this is one this is two this is three okay so here how many number i can take okay so let's say i have to fill this position so i have right now three numbers so that means i can fill three okay any one of them i can fill so if i filling this after this i like one of the one of them will be filled and i have like after three minus one i have two option okay similarly after filling this position to this two position i have one option so if i multiply this so this is equal to six okay so as you can see we have six option and if we you do three factorial it's basically three into two into one it's a six okay let me show you what are the six possible outcomes so let's uh, create a graph for this okay so let's start from here we will first fix this okay we fix this so now we have two options so now we have fixed this we have option of two and three okay so this we need to do now here what we have we have two option either we can fix this or either it can be fixed let's say we will fix this so again we got one two three now at this position there is only one so this is the fixed element now let's say you uh, at the second position like if you mark this index zero one two you fix this okay so then you have an option of like three will come and then two okay so now you basically roll back from here so basically it's just a backtrack so you will roll back from here again you will roll back so you will now change the one position now you say like you will fix the position of second okay so if you fix the position so your two will come first then you have two option one and three okay so let's say you fix this one if you fix this so you have two one three and after this like this is the only single element so you just come out so you just backtrack now you will do for this so you have one more option you will take three so you have two three one okay again you backtrack from here and from here also now you say you will fix three okay so we have three here then we have one or two of the option okay so let's say we'll fix one so we will fix so three one two and we we'll backtrack from here and we'll fix this too so for this we have an option of three two one and again we do backtrack and we again do backtrack so now we like all are visited so this is the final six output that you can see so i hope the permutation is clear to you so it's basically an arrangement of elements okay so let's see uh, how we will so let's understand this question okay so in this case we have one one two okay let's take this so let's create the same graph again same tree so now we will fix this one okay so if we fix this one we have two option one or two so we have two option let's say we'll take this so we have one one two and we'll roll back here we again fix this two and we have one two one okay now you roll back like you backtrack from here and now you say you will fix this so if you fix this you again have one and you have the two option this and this so you have one and two okay so now again you will take one or uh, one of this so you take one one two and let's say you will take this so you have one two one okay now can you see this two output okay so this basically this tree and this tree gave the same output and you know the reason why because you 
solve the same uh, element again like you solve for one now again you have one so if you solve for same uh, like if the question is not for duplicate then you can easily like print all but in this question we don't have to give the same output again we have to give the unique so we will skip this whenever the element is there so we will skip this so we don't do for here okay let's move on okay let's do for two so for two we have like we fix two and we have one or one option okay let's say you will fix for one so two one one okay now you will fix this so you again have two one one so here you also can see like at this position it is correct yeah like till it is correct now you again have two same trees because you have like one is also same and one is also same so either one of them you have to take okay so i hope the intuition like the approach of the question is clear to you so let's see how we will basically write the code for this so so we'll use the same code that we will write for permutation one and there is one condition that we need to add for permutation two okay so how we will write it so we'll take uh, basically we will take a l pointer from here like from start so let's give me end zero one two and we will start from here every time okay so every time we will let's give me this i okay so every time we will swap this i with this l okay so first step we will swap it okay so this will remain same as it is now your l will move further now here like for this position your zero one two i as this position uh your sorry your i will be at this position and your l is also at this position okay now again you move for that again you swap them okay so this become one two three and your l is also there and your i is at here so again you swap it and you got the final output okay so after this you come back you again swap it so now you will move your i only and you will swap your i basically this three with l okay so at this position one three will come and two will come at this position so you will come back okay you will again come back now your l will be at only basically this position and your i will be at this okay now you swap it so your two one three your l will be here your i will be here so it's basically we will write a swap function with one condition okay so i think we can write the code and it will be more clear to you so let me just take a list of list of integer let's take a list new array list and we just return the list okay so what we have to do uh, basically we'll call a function so we'll call a solve we'll pass the nums and we'll give them l basically start position so we'll give them zero okay so let me just write a function of solve nums and this will be our l so what we have to do for int i start from zero i will nums dot length i plus plus okay so first step you just have to swap it swap your i with your l so let me just pass nums i l and you will again call your function so you'll pass nums and this time you will pass l plus one okay because here you fix this position okay so at this position you fix this l so you start from here you l you fix l now you have to do from here okay so you have to increment your l okay so now after this you have to backtrack from here so how you will backtrack you just do swap again like roll back my current position again i l okay so let me write the swap function okay void swap and we'll pass numbers we'll pass s and let me give e so what we will do we'll take in a temporary variable 
and nums of e and nums of e it's basically a swap function so after this what you have to do you have to add a base condition so what will your base condition if l is equal to nums dot size so like this is the final output that you need to need in the output so if it is reaches to this you have to create a sub list new array list and nums sub dot add so i'm basically taking every element from nums and inserting into a sub list and after that i just insert it into a, my main list so list dot add sub and we just do return okay i think we have done with the code so let's run it okay let's see okay so we are getting output 211 oh why it is 211 first zero l okay okay so your i will start from l basically so if we run this okay now you can see we are getting output as 112 similarly we are getting output as 112 and you can see for 211 211 okay so if you submit this question for permutation one it will be submitted but for permutation two you need to add one condition so what will be the condition basically you need to check at that time okay so when you solve for one okay at the same level like when you take one you need to check whether you are taking the same one again or not if you are taking it you just have to skip okay now you can see for this case also for after two we take one but again after that we take one okay so at the internal level we have so for permutation two we need to add one condition and this will be the condition so it will be like so condition is pretty simple you just have to take a set okay so this will be our set new hash set okay and but you just have to insert into set dot add nums of i and for the next time you need to check if set dot contains this nums i skip it you don't have to process it okay so let me just uh, yeah so now let's run it now you can see we got our output and let's submit it okay cool our code is submitted the time complexity is basically it's same for permutation one we are creating a you can say n factorial permutation so it's n factorial and we are taking an extra space of set that's a order of n you can say at a time so yeah hope you like it thank you for watching video and do join the telegram group if you have in doubt any concern thank you